Hello everybody, what I want to do with this particular presentation is find the area of the shaded region. So I want, I want to work out how big this is, and this, and this, and this, all added up together. So how can I do it? Well let's start out by putting in some things that I do now. Across the middle of this circle will be 10 centimetres. So that would have to mean from there to from the edge to the centre would have to be half of 10, which would be 5. So that would be the radius. Now what I'll do is I'll work out the area of the rectangle. I'll work out the area of this square here. So let's say that the area of the rectangle is length times width. Now I know it's going to be a square because the circle just fits into it across this way, so it should just fit into it vertically. So that will mean the length is the same as the width. So that'll be 10 times 10. So the area will be 100 square centimetres. Now it's had a circle taken out of it. It's had all this taken out of it. Now how can I figure out the area of a circle? Well, the area of a circle is pi r squared, where r is equal to, in our case, 5. So let's see, 5 squared is 25, and pi is equal to 3.14. So, 3.14 times 25 is equal to 78.5 centimetres squared. So how can I figure out these black shaded bits? Well, if I can figure out the area of the whole rectangle and then take away the area of the circle, what will be left over? Only these shaded bits. So let me do that now. The area will be 100, the whole rectangle, take away 78.5 which is a circle, which leads me to believe there are 21.5 centimetres squared in the shaded region. Okay, so just remember that we can work out the area of the whole thing and take away the circle and that will give us the area of the shaded region. Alrighty, well I hope that helps and I'll see you in class.